Hi friends! It's so good to see you. I love being outside in the sunshine. It makes me so happy. I hope that you've gotten a chance to go outside and enjoy the pretty weather. And I hope that I get to see you really soon. I hope that you're planning on coming to church on Easter morning and we're going to have worship outside. And we are so looking forward to seeing you. Our Bible story for today is what kind of made me start thinking about going outside because it talks about birds and flowers. Let's listen to our scripture. From Luke chapter 12, we're going to start in verse 13. There was somebody who was telling Jesus, tell my brother to give me my part of our family's money. And Jesus said, why am I supposed to be the judge? And Jesus then told them a parable. Do you know what a parable is? That's right. It's a story. It's a story with a meaning. It's a story that you tell because you want somebody to learn a lesson. So Jesus told them this parable. He said, the land of a rich man produced abundantly. That means a whole lot. And he thought to himself, what should I do? I don't have any place to store all of my crops, all of my food that I'm growing. So then he said, I know, this is what I will do. I will pull down my barns and I'll build bigger ones. And there I will store all of my grains and all of my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your life is being demanded of you and the things that you have prepared. Whose will they be then? So, so it is with those who store up treasures for themselves but are not rich toward God. That part of the parable was just a reminder that we shouldn't keep more things than we need and keep all those things around us because God really wants us to share. And God wants us to, to think about those invisible treasures that we've been talking about from the very beginning of Lent. So let's keep going with the rest of the story. And he said to his disciples, Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or about your body and what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body is about more than clothing. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap. That means that the birds don't take care of the garden by themselves. They neither have storehouses or a barn, yet God feeds them. Oh, how much more value are you than the birds? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? Let's keep going. If then you are not able to do a small thing as that, why do you worry about the rest? Consider the lilies and how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, yet I tell you, even Solomon in all of his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you? You with little faith. Do not keep striving for what you are to eat and what you are to drink, and do not keep worrying. For it is the nations of this world that strive after all of these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, strive for his kingdom, and that these things will be given to you as well. It's a lot of words, isn't it? God was saying that the birds of the sky that fly around, they don't plant seeds in a garden and take care of it and make sure it gets watered and pluck out all the weeds and all the things that we humans do to our gardens, right? But the birds have plenty to eat. God takes care of them. And the flowers, they're beautiful, right? But they don't make their own clothes and all of that. They're just beautiful the way that they are. And Jesus said, 
that even Solomon, Solomon was a rich king who had very fancy, beautiful clothes. He said even Solomon's clothes weren't as beautiful as the flowers in the field. I will take care of you. So that's a lot to say. God really will take care of us. And sometimes our worries get so big that they get in our way. Now, there are lots of things that we can do with those really big worries. We can ask grown-ups for help. And if our grown-ups can't help us, they can take us to doctors and feelings helpers and all kinds of people that can help us with those really big worries. But God is telling us there's really less to worry about than you think. God is telling us, I'll take care of you, just like those birds that you hear right above me. They're singing their beautiful songs. God's going to take care of us. I thought that this was a really cool story to fall on this week because it's been one year of COVID, one year of staying at home more and doing school at home and wearing masks and keeping our distance from our friends and all of those things. We've kind of gotten used to them a little bit, right? But sometimes over the past year, our worries have been pretty big. Sometimes not so much, but yeah, sometimes they've been pretty big. But there's also been some really cool things that have happened this year. I bet you, you've taken more walks with your family this year than ever before. I bet you, you've also gotten really creative about ways to hang out with your friends, like parking lot dates and riding your bikes together and doing all sorts of fun things. I bet you, you have done video calls with friends and family. We've all figured out new ways to celebrate birthdays outside or by drive-by parades and all kinds of things. We've done some pretty cool things this year, like going to church on TV. That's pretty cool, huh? Well, our friends at Illustrated Ministry, the same ones who sent us these really cool devotions, they made some prayers for us that we can color. I sent mom and dad a link that they can click on and they can print out some prayers for you. I'm going to get started coloring mine right now. The prayers talk about things that we've missed and things that we're look, looking forward to as we start getting back together. So I'm going to start coloring my prayer. I'm going to read it to you in just a minute so that we can pray together. But before I do, let's not forget to put something in our Linton treasure vessel. I brought mine outside with me. See, it's getting pretty full now. I'm going to put my flower. This one's a peace lily, I think. I'm going to put it right in here. So that when I see it, I can remember to worry less because God's got it. God's going to take care of us. So I'm going to start coloring and we can pray together while I color. Did you know you can pray with your eyes open too? So I'm going to pray with my eyes open while I color. God, our loving friend, the seasons keep changing, but we remain separated from our friends and neighbors. It's been a long year. We miss the comfort of warm hugs, shared meals, and friendly visits. But you sent us a comforter, the Holy Spirit. Wrap us in this holy comforter today. Amen. See you soon. I hope you enjoy Pastor Christian's song. I'm going to pray a little bit longer with my coloring sheet. Talk to you soon. Hi friends, I'm glad you've been singing along with me for the past couple weeks as we've been learning our new song for Lent, My Treasure is in My Heart. Today we're going to start learning some dance moves. We're going to learn dance moves for the chorus and the bridge today, which are the two parts of the song that repeat, and next week we'll learn dance moves for the verses. So the first part of the song is the chorus. That's the one that goes, whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And what you see me doing on the screen, I want you to mirror, okay? So when we start out, you're going to put your arms to the left, and then you're gonna wave them to the right and then back to the left and to the right. So it's gonna look like this. Whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Try that with me. One, two, sing, and whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. 
And then we're gonna, for a treasure, we're gonna put our arms way out like this. My treasure is in my... And then we're gonna make an X over our heart. Okay, when we sing heart, so it's gonna look like this. My treasure is in my heart. Try that with me. Ready and sing. My treasure is in my heart. Good, let's try that whole thing together. One, two, ready and whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. My treasure is in my heart. And then the next part's gonna look very similar. When we sing the whoa, whoa's, we're gonna do the same thing with our arms. But then when we sing Jesus is in my heart, we're gonna put our arms up for Jesus. Jesus is in my heart. And we're gonna put our hands in an X back over our heart again, just like we did before, okay? Let's see if we can try all of that together, okay? One, two, ready, and whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. My treasure is in my heart. Whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus is in my heart. Try that again. Ready, and whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. My treasure is in my heart. Two. Ready and whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus is in my heart. Good. And then the verse happens. And then when we get to the bridge, that's the part that goes, we will not worry, we will not be afraid. You're gonna take your left hand and you're gonna move it like this. And then you're gonna take your right hand and move it like this across the screen, okay? So it'll look like this. We will not worry, we will not be afraid. And then when we sing afraid, if you can, I want you to stop twice with your left foot and then clap twice, and then stop twice with your right foot and clap twice. So it'll end up looking like, like sorry, it'll end up looking like this. We will not worry, we will not be afraid. Try that much with me. Uh, we will not worry. One, two, sing. We will not worry. We will not be afraid. Good. And then the next part, uh, when we sing, we're gonna take heaven in, we're gonna put our arms up and then we're gonna kind of lower them like this. Take heaven in so we can give it all away. So we're gonna raise our arms back up as our voices raise like that, okay? Uh, so try that from, we're gonna take heaven in. One, two, sing, we're gonna take heaven in so we can give it all away. And then, yeah, yeah. We're gonna take our two hands and fists like this, like we're saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we go back to the chorus. Whoa, 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 yeah, 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 okay? See if you can do that whole bridge with me into the chorus. So we'll sing the bridge and then the chorus together, and then we'll try the whole song, okay? Uh, so this is from We Will Not Worry, one, two, ready. We will not worry, we will not be afraid. We're gonna take heaven in so we can give it all away. My treasure is in my heart. Whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus is in my heart. Good. So let's try and add those dance moves in as we sing the whole song together now. Whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. My treasure is in What we treasure, what do we think of? Is it things like toys and money or the people we love? When we look for riches, are we searching far and wide? Or do we find what we're looking for already inside? We will not worry, we will not be afraid. We're gonna take heaven in so we can be. Is in my heart. 
serve and bring our train to earth. We will see the value in all our creation's worth. When we love our neighbors, we will welcome everyone. As we come and see and go and tell what Jesus has done, we will not worry, we will not be afraid. We're gonna take heaven in so we can do Thanks for singing with me.